Hello, hello, friends, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Caroline, and I am a recent grad of Columbia University with a dual degree in biology and medical humanities. Last time you saw my spring break adventures, and this time I'll bring you along with me for a week back from break. We'll be mostly outside the classroom, enjoying our last hurrah before entering the real world. So without further ado, let's get right into it. No, it's a slow and a fast movement. Two out of the box is probably one movement. It better be. I love your video. <gasps> really? Can you say that again for the camera? Oh, shine. Thank you! Welcome to our 22nd birthday party! Woo! We're here at a joint birthday party for three of my friends, and one of them is actually part of the Columbia Juilliard Exchange Program. So that's why the party venue was right across from the Juilliard School. I got to see so many familiar faces again and also meet a lot of new friends who were, coincidentally, musically inclined, which I think is just so cool and respectable. This is my makeup for today. I use tape to get the eyeliner, and then I use glitter eyeshadow. Better be on key, Juilliard people. <laughs> so much fun to celebrate with everyone and we ended off the night with some cake and dessert and they had the most delicious durian cake which I know sounds weird but it's actually so good. On our way back to campus we actually had to stop by the Juilliard school because a couple of my friends needed to pick some stuff up from their lockers and we decided to take a nightly stroll through Lincoln Center which is so beautiful in the day but especially at night. Renovating the New York Oh. David Geffen Hall, that's David Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA, yeah, yeah, yeah. that one? Oh, the name is familiar. Wow, that is gorgeous. We decided to take some pictures in front of Lincoln Center, which you can see on my Instagram. And as we were heading back to campus, I realized that there was something going on in Learner Hall, which is basically the Student Activity Center. And turns out it was 22 of Spades, which was a senior event hosted, I believe, by the Senior Society Sachems. There was food and drinks, and it was a lot of fun. I didn't know how to play any of the games and this was done with chips, not real money. So I kind of just stayed on the sidelines and watched, but it was a lot more fun than I expected and I'm glad that I went. Hey there, you probably cannot tell that it is the end of March because I'm literally wearing the same thing I was wearing in January. Oh, it's like 25 degrees today. I'm headed over to VNT Pizza Ria Restaurante um, for an alumni dinner. So the Odyssey, I think it's Odyssey Mentoring Program where like the Alumni Association has these alumni dinners. They invite, I think these dinners are only for seniors, but usually I think you can be any, any year. I'm meeting with Brendan and Miria now at 114th in Amsterdam. Alumni dinner? Yes. All right. Oh, <laughs> zero pull. I just, I was just curious because it seems like Yum. it's getting more like Yum. serious almost because like, I've seen more Yum. and more like companies actually like. Yum. Just we just finished in it. I think we got the coolest alum yes. post. She was really good. She was really funny. <laughs> she, uh, very honest. <laughs> now we're going to go back to the dorm. It's so cold. Okay, good night. Bye. 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 Subscribe! Subscribe, yeah. She's a famous YouTuber. She's a famous YouTuber. Oh, really? <laughs> Hi, everyone! <laughs> I'm back with Annabelle, and we have a new friend, Jeffrey. What's up? We're here in... What is this? Um, East Village. East Village. We just took a nice stroll after getting off the subway, and we're going to have dinner here at Amelie. Amelie. Amelie? I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and then after, we're going to go to a comedy, a comedy show. show. Have you been before? Uh, I have not. Yeah. Oh, all of our so, first times. Okay. We'll see you guys later. This will be exciting. Ah. The lighting. Thank you very much. You're so well trained. Who did that? The food was really good and we finished every last bit of it. And then we made our way over to Comedy Cellar, which is a really famous comedy club in New York. 
Some notes for first-time comedy show goers. So you basically, you have to bring your ID regardless of whether or not you look like you're over 21. And it'll be worth it to get there early because then you'll be able to sit more in the seats to the front rather than in the back. And also, depending on the size of your party, you might be seated with strangers. So we were a party of three, and we were seated at a table for six. So three other people joined us. We just finished watching the comedy show. No phones allowed during the show. Either because they don't want distractions or they don't want to be canceled. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. You have to order two, like minimum two items per person. Overall, it was a really exciting experience, and we then made our way to the subway to go back to campus, and on our way, we passed by Cornelia Street for all the Swifties out there. We need to take a picture here. Oh my god, NYU people. <laughs> Wait, let's take a picture. Okay. Two days later, it was Ban Mi Night hosted by the Singapore Students Association. I am not Singaporean, but I've been to Singapore once and I also went to one of their previous events, which is why I was on the listserv for this event. And a big tip for college is to sign up for student organization email listservs so that you'll be notified when there are fun events or free food events like this one. My Ban Mi. Massive. It's good. Thank you. <laughs> So yeah, thank you SSA for the free dinner, and we'll move on to Friday night. Hello vlog, today is April Fool's Day. It's 4-1 or April 1st, it is a Friday. There was actually an event hosted by the Asian Pacific American Heritage Month Club at Columbia. So it's called APOM, and APOM is usually in May. Well, it is in May, but we usually celebrate it in April. Um, at Columbia because May is not like a full month of school, only April is like the last full month of school. So there's this opening ceremony for the club today. So I'm gonna head over. It's gonna be at Barnard in the Diana something oval. And yeah, I just took a nap because I was tired because I did laundry. <laughs> And it took me so much longer than I thought because one of the washers wouldn't wring out the water after. And so this jacket in particular is really spongy. And so it took forever to dry. This is Annie. I do wanna like give a brief intro as to what's inside. Yeah, so we're gonna have a lot of performers. It's basically to kick off our series of events. That's so exciting. This is so well planned and I'll show you guys the food and everything inside. It's, it's really good. Saturday, April 2nd, and it's a special day on campus because it's actually Bacchanal. Bacchanal is this annual spring concert that we have. On Saturdays, the gym opens at 10, and so I try to make myself wake up a little bit later, but I still woke up at 7. And to make myself go to sleep later, I did my virology homework. <laughs> so 
it's not because I had homework to do that I slept late. It's because I wanted to sleep late that I did homework, which I don't know if makes any sense. The gym was super empty today on the first floor, on the treadmills, and even in the, the barbell area, which is usually packed. That's because everyone's either sleeping in or enjoying themselves on this Bakken all day. Okay, I just stretched and warmed up and I'm looking at the preview for this workout. It looks like it's gonna be a hard one. It's, it's, oh, it always like seems hard and it's just like the anticipation that is the hardest, but once you're in it, it goes by like that. It's 30 minutes. I'll probably take like 45 minutes to an hour to finish it. But yeah, it's gonna be fine. This is my little blue corner. I'm always in here. Today, I did Caroline Gervan's pyramid workout from her Epic Heat program. It's a 50-day program, and the workouts are generally around 30 minutes, so it's a really efficient way to exercise when you're short on time. And then afterwards, I played a little bit of badminton in the courts right next to where I was working out. After showering and changing, I went with my friends to explore a market that was right outside of the Morningside campus, and then we had some Thai food at Spice Thai. It was really nice to see campus so lively and everyone having fun. But Annabelle and I actually had work to do. She just turned in her piece set. I had to prepare for a recitation that I was holding for biology this coming week. And so we decided to take it easy for the rest of the day and just go to Ferris, have dinner, and relax. Oh. Hi. I always love eating with Annabelle. Mm -hmm. We'll do more. <laughs> this is Ferris. Yeah, it, this is like considered not very crowded because everyone is like at Bacchanal, yeah. I decided I'm not gonna go to Bacchanal or like Terminal 5 tonight. I asked my friend if they wanted my tickets. They haven't gone back to me yet, but I feel like it's fine because the thing is like the tickets were pretty hard to get. So I want to give it to someone who wants to go. I might do some homework because I have nothing else to do. Also, I'm kind of tired. I want to eat my key lime pie and yeah, take out my contacts. Look. If you're squeamish, look away. Oh, these are dailies. Also, I just washed my hands and I didn't touch anything with this hand, so I'm good. Good night vlog. At around 10 o'clock in the middle of watching my Korean drama, I was texting my friend Annie who plays piano at Juilliard and I decided to keep her company while she practiced. So we went down, had our own little concert. So not Bacchanal concert, but a classical music concert. And I will end off the vlog with that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.